There's nothing better than a homegrown salad, and I'm going to show you how to get a jump start on starting lettuce from seed even in hot climates. During the hottest part of summer, we can't grow lettuce here, no matter what variety we try. But one of the nice things is, is we are now in the middle of August and there are some that we can start with a little extra care. Lettuce likes rich, fertile soil. And so I've already amended this bud with lots of compost and now I'm gonna add the addition of nitrogen. It also likes nitrogen, it's a leafy green so it responds really good to it. So you can use blood meal, feather meal, and I'm just gonna use some fish meal and I'm just gonna sprinkle this right over the surface. You can use about five pounds per hundred square foot. But in this little tiny area, I'm just gonna be sprinkling a small amount. Then I'm gonna just kinda of slowly work it in as I smooth this soil out, getting it ready for its seeds. We want it nice and smooth because the seeds are little. We don't want them to get lost in too many crevices. Okay, break up any clumps that are in here. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now it's ready for some seeds. I'm gonna be planting six varieties. I'm gonna make six rows because I like the way it looks. Lettuce does really well in rows and I like the way it looks with the different textures and colors in each one of those rows. It just gives it kind of a point of interest in your garden. And the varieties that I'm gonna be planting is the Red Salad Bowl and the Marvel of Four Seasons, Rogue de Hiver, Red Sails, Freckles, this one's fun with all the little spots on it, and then Little Jim. Now if you'll notice, all except for the little gem, they all have a red color to them. Usually that's an indication that they do really well in the heat. They're also very slow to bolt. So these are good when they're planted in the fall time, early like this, like the middle of August. I love bamboo sticks in the garden, not just for staking things up, but I also use these to mark my rows. It gives me a nice straight line, and especially for greens. It gives me a deep impression that it tells me right where I need to be putting my seeds. So I'm just gonna make my six rows just by pushing this into the nice soil that we've amended. It's loose, and so it makes a good indentation. And I'll get these six rows ready for seeds. One thing about gardening for lots of years is you learn a lot of little tips and tricks that really help amp up your gardening techniques. And so this little thing that I do here really has helped me with the germination rate of my lettuce, especially during the hot part of August. And it's just a simple little water the rose right where I made my indentation. This helps the lettuce to stay in place. And when I sprinkle it in, they're already in contact with wet soil. The soil is already settled, and so that just kind of helps them. And when I water on top, the, the soil doesn't just disappear on you. And so just simply take a water can and water down each one of your rows. And all you need is just a little tiny bit of water. Okay, make sure that you get labels for your seed packets because we're gonna have four different varieties and you definitely wanna know which variety you like the best and also what does the best in your area. I clip them together with these office clips. These are better for, for so many things. Okay, so we're just gonna sprinkle these in real lightly. You can use a seed dispenser, but I usually just freehand it and just lightly go in your row. Okay, and then seal your pack back up, label, and move to your next row. Another indispensable tool that I wouldn't garden without here in the desert is this floating row cover, also known as seed guard. So what I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna place this right over the surface of these seeds that I've just put in, right on the ground. And then I'll stake it in. You can use rocks to hold it down, or you can use little stakes to hold it down. And then I'll end up putting some wire over the top of that and create a second um, shade layer. And this just helps protect it, helps keep that humidity up, and it helps keep that moisture in, and it makes sure that those seeds have a better chance of germinating here in this hot climate. We have a lot of questions about what wire we're using here, and we just get this at our local farm store. Um, Kevin, can you tell them a little bit about this? 
It's just a 12 gauge utility wire. It comes in a 10 pound roll and it's about $20 and I just took a saw and cut it and then we have those half loops. Yeah, so he just made one cut on just one side of the circle and I was able to just kind of leave it all connected and I pull them off as I need it, kind of straighten them out. And I get about 100 hoops out of one of those rolls and I use them for summer use, winter use. They're exceptional to have in your tool shed. As you know, cats like loose soil, and we've just made the perfect environment for a cat to like to dig. So that is one of the benefits of adding this floating row cover, is it keeps the cat off of that new soil where you've just planted those seeds. So there again, there's another benefit for higher success. We love using this for multiple reasons. It also keeps the birds from eating the new seeds and the seedlings. This cover you may not need to do in your area, but we are still having temperatures that are gonna be 100 plus, and so we need this extra layer. But if you don't get that hot, just bypass this second coating of your floating row cover and just use the first. And don't forget to keep this evenly moist. Once we've gotten the seedlings to come up to be about a half of an inch to an inch, then we can remove these, but still remember to keep them evenly moist. I do have my drip tape in these beds, which helps keep the soil moist, but we need to make sure that the top of the soil stays moist. And so I'll just come in here with a, just a little spray nozzle and I'll spray right over the top of this cloth because it lets the water penetrate and it's a good way to keep it moist. In about 30 days, you're gonna be harvesting baby lettuce. It takes about 75 days before you can harvest a head lettuce, but before too long, you'll be harvesting to make a salad. And don't forget to harvest that subscribe button and hit the bell. Till next time, we'll see ya.